Today we're talking about current and electron flow through a device. So in this problem, this comes out of chapter 17 of the hybrid physics book, the current supplied by a battery is typically 0.141 amps. Find the number of electrons passing through the device in 24 hours. So first we're going to uh, determine what equation we should use and for that the simplest one is going to be I average or the, the average current which we've determined is 0.141 amps equals delta Q over delta T so the first thing we're going to find is the delta T so we've got we know that the the, the span is going to be 24 hours so we say 24 hours times 60 minutes in one hour times 60 seconds in one minute is going to give us 86,400 seconds okay so we say our I average is going to be 0.141 amps, so we say 0.141 amps is going to equal change in Q over 86,400 seconds. So to get change in Q, to get change in Q, We're going to say time or delta T, so delta T, 86,400 seconds times times this uh, 0.141 amps. And when we do that, we get 100, uh, I'm sorry, 12182.4 coulombs. All right, so we've got 12,182.4 coulombs. Now we need to figure out how many electrons are going through this device. Well, we know that, uh, we know that in one electron, so we got this one little electron is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs. And so all you have to do is rearrange this to say uh, you've got, let's see, you've got 12,000. 182.4 coulombs. And remember, a coulomb is equal to the amperage times second. Okay, so we've got that. We say one electron is equal to 1.6 times 10 to the negative 19th coulombs. And when we do that, you can cancel off these, uh, these coulombs, and it's going to give you 7.614 times 10 to the 22nd electrons. And that is your answer.